What's up everyone, my name is Hayden and I just started making a game in Unity for the first time ever. Also, if you didn't notice, this happens to be the first video I'm making about this, so if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button and the bell and let's see how fast a channel with nothing could get to 100 subscribers in 2022. Alright, so this game everybody's been talking about, I began with a blue box and then I made it turn green if you hover over it with a mouse. And learning Unity is really hard, so that's where I'm at. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit subscribe. Just kidding! I got way more, but seriously, just making it turn green felt like an accomplishment. Coding the movement of the box took a while to figure out, but now you can move down, left, and right. But, uh, oh, you, you thought this game was only about one box? That's, that's embarrassing. My game is about multiple boxes. Infinite boxes, actually, because I made it so a new box spawns about every 10 seconds. At least, I think it's seconds. I'm not I'm not totally sure, to be honest. I wanted my game's players to be able to select what box they're going to move. So I made it so that the controls only work after you click on the box. But I didn't stop there, because now, after a little bit more code that I wrote all by myself, you can now hold shift click and select as many boxes as you want, and use the same controls for all of them. And then, I found a tutorial by CodeMonkey on how to do RTS controls, and his code was way better than mine, so I deleted everything that I've done so far. The tutorial showed me how to add little identifying sprites to show which boxes have been selected, and I actually think this small feature makes a huge difference. And I know what you're thinking, Hayden, this game is freaking awesome, but what if I want to select every box at the same time? Well, don't worry. I made it so that if you hold, click, and slide across an area, you can select all the boxes at once. Just kidding, I, I definitely copied that from CodeMonkey as well. It was at this point that I realized the boxes look absolutely terrible and I hate them very much. I hopped over to a little pixel art designer called A Sprite. It's so easy to learn and use and only costs $20 for lifetime access. I started designing a simple little bean head looking alien guy. I gave him red eyes to add some variation, shaded him with light and darker greens to give it some gorgeous volume. Then I started adding frames to give him a walk forward animation. Guys, I'm not even sponsored, but I'm telling you, A Sprite makes it super easy to add frames and angles. I made new frames for each direction he would walk except for looking to the left because I figured I could just duplicate the right walking animation for the left side once I got into Unity. But boy, was I wrong about that. I imported my new sprite sheets into Unity and cut up all the different images. And at this point, I had mastered Unity's animation system, so I connected up all the different- I'm just kidding. No, I, I followed another tutorial on YouTube and quickly got the character's animations working absolutely perfectly. Except for some reason, I couldn't find a way to flip the right facing animation, so my little bean looking alien guy moonwalks to left, and when they bump into each other, they just start spinning around and walking in random directions like backward, forward, and right, and they won't stop. So it was at this point, I realized I hate this stupid little bean looking alien guy very much. Just to shove it in his face, I deleted every one of his sprites from my game, and I even emptied my trash can. The bean guy is gone. And now the boxes look really good. It was actually an artistic choice because of something about those boxes. They just, they just work right, if you know what I mean. And that brings us to the present. Once again, if you would like to follow along with my game making journey, hit subscribe, turn on the bell, and I'll see you next time when we'll make this somewhat playable.